Look at the big brain on Jesse. Welcome back, you guys. We're playing Control. I think we're at episode 27 today. It should be February, Thursday, February 13th, the day before V-Day. Uh, we are going after some more points before we deal with the boss uh, at the end of this track. Uh, so we're going to locate Dr. Underhill below Central Research, which we also want to do because there's, I think, a total of five or six uh, janitorial missions. I think we've done two of them so far. So uh, got some more skill points just recently. Oh, damn it, I always do that. Uh, although, actually, I did want to show you. Uh, so I, I equipped a, an accuracy rather than a rate of fire on my spin, so I, I, I want to give it a shot. Uh, again, no pun intended. Um, loving the charge. Still a little confused about the self damage, but whatever. Uh, I think the reload speed's good. We got fours across the board, which is good. I think I only have a single fiver. And actually, I did put the uh, less uh, spread rank five on my shatter if and when I get it out again. Uh, I was going to fast travel to the next area, but then I realized um, this is right here, basically. Uh, under Below Central Research. So we're going to go, and I think there's mold down there, and I think we I'm a little more confident about taking it on. So we have a new... Uh, once again. Uh, so we have a new uh, skill, C's. i got to remember to use F on damaged guys. I want to give this a shot. It's not so crazy without the... It's not quite as insane with that, without the rate of fire mod on it, but be that as it may or may not be, we are going to continue moving on down. We're going to go to Central Research and go to the bottom. So on that note, let's do this. Numero Trace. Uh, going down. Yep, that's what I thought. Kinda figured. Where you guys at? Really? Boom! Goes the dynamite. Yeah, I was only uh, one away. <gasps> Good God, man! What the f You son of a bitch! Thing just about one shots me. That is some bullshit. Yeah, this hits a lot of things, right? All at once. Nope, 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 nope. We're. Gonna... Well, I don't really want to go down this direction, but. That's right. Got that. And that. Need all of the health. Please. Who else? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it gets me every time. Oh, no. 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 No means no. Bad touch. Catch. No? How about... Can you catch? No. Nope. You can't catch very well either. Not a surprise. I got a bunch of dumbasses. Well, <laughs> then they do that. <laughs> Apparently not. That they're not quite as dumbasses as I thought. Come on, then. And boom! Can I do it? Nope. Oh, yep. Nope. Oh, you have to be so close or something? No! Or maybe that thing makes him immune? 
this is why I wanted to kind of, I'm probably after this episode probably going to grind not, not only practice with C's but also oop, probably uh, grind maybe a little bit more in the panopticon fuck you uh, for more of those containment resources that I need oh damn it I hit F Oh, it does heal him! Look at that bullshit! <laughs> Who the f fuck was doing that bullshit? Come on, man. Where the f- Oh. It said it didn't heal him. I looked it up. It specifically says in the game it does not heal him. It only, like, basically gives him more health and vitality in battle. Bitch. Now, why can I not turn you? Oh, let's see, look at that! How about that? Oh, ugh. See again. Ugh, I tried to do the C's. I got it. I got to throw shit first. Apparently. Yep. If I even wait a second. Ah, that is annoying. And yet another reason why I hate powers like that one. Yet another reason. All right. Gotcha, sucker. Now, finish those pieces of shit off while mommy goes heal. Goes to heal. Here we go. He said, thank you. This is where I threw that. Hey, really? Oh, I'm coming for you. Oh, or maybe not. Hmm. a wise ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Moving motherfuckers. Ba -ba -ba Boom! Goes the dynamite. <laughs> Actually, that was fun. Let's do that one more time. Two, three. Ba -ba 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 Boom! Ooh. <laughs> it's like a game of bowling. I love it when they're all lined up in a row. <laughs> oh, and it blocked the missile he was trying to shoot at me. Because he's a little bitch. God damn it, you guys. Knock you. Knock you. Whoa! You know what? One of them hit me. That's not good. Ba -ba 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 Boom! Uh, no, I'm hitting F. What are you doing? Ooh. Oh, but F also switches my weapon. Hmm. Okay, that's something good to remember. Seriously? Oh my god, did you see that piece of shit? Go, 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 go! Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> so far, we're not doing a great job of hitting the bottom floor. <laughs> you dicks. Can I get rid of that cover of yours? Nope. Nope. No, no. 
Oh, I saw that. Who wants some? Boosh! Not doing a lot. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, how's it feel, bitch? Be on the other side of that nonsense. I'm trying to defend against RPGs and shit. Okay, my evasive game's improved a little. That's good to know. Um, hmm. All right, you dicks. I'm coming for you. Jesus, there's a lot of fools up here. Oh, I can't. I can't do it fast enough. Well, at least get above them. Shit, did you see that? I was trying to... I was tr I was trying to melee him, and they were recovering health quicker than I can freaking do melee damage. How many of those fuckers did I take out? Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh. Nope. Seriously? I finish it? Fucking sick of it helping everybody. About done with that nonsense. Speaking of done with non Oh son of a bitch. Bye. Dumbass. Sure. Oh, Jesus, son of a murder and brick and fucking. Nope. Oh, wait, can I? Can we? Yep, I'm fucking coming in here. Fuck you guys. Jazz punk. Suck it. You know what? I'm supposed to be going down. Apparently there's areas where it's just endless dudes. And that's okay. But I'm done. <laughs> We're halfway through the episode and I've exited a room so far. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I should probably make sure I pick up all the things, if for no other reason than all the materials I need. Okay, so, uh, I suspect this may not be the best for enclosed areas or what have you. So, oh, are you kidding me? How have I never seen this before? Wait, oh, so it doesn't work. Well, that's some bullshit. Alright, well, how the fuck are you supposed to go down there if... Well, it's good to know there's a button. Um... Hold on, 
let's see if there's another one. Huh. I don't know, guys. Well, I guess we're gonna go down here. I don't know. This may be a short journey as well. Okay, so we'll go over here. There we go. Oh! Come over meow. Okay, so this is what we're supposed to do. Oh. Doing that. Doing that. Don't you dare take any fucking damage. That. Uh, please and thank you. Yeah, this will actually work out perfect, I think. Um, you know, I was going to do the do the fight uh, with Salvador on Wednesday the 12th. But this way we get two more things, get a little more leveled up, and we have a bit of a cliffhanger through the Valentine Day slash Doom 26 weekend. useful uh, map in the universe. Yeah, I think it's I, I I think it's not the mold. It's just the enemies in the mold that causes the problems. I and I'm gonna go and then I I think on that note I will go back a few places. I'll uh, try and make a note of any story stuff we pick up, but that and there's also a video I saw on how to get all like this secret building uh, ability points for secret areas and stuff. Basically, I have to platform and all that, and platforming is tedious at best. Uh, so, I'll probably do that all off the recording. Uh, keep the exploration story and, you know, first time through stuff and everything like that uh, for you guys. Oh, here we go. I was like, where do I put it? Hashtag, that's what he said. Uh, nothing else out here. Okay. But where do I put it? Is there a... No. Okay. Everybody freeze! Okay. Um... that? <laughs> I walk in a room, there's all these really cool things, and the first thing I do is I climb on the disc and go, ooh, what's that? Okay. There's all this other obvious stuff everywhere. <laughs> so it does, in fact, seem like... Oh, that's rank four. Obviously, there's that thing up... There. Area's under quarantine. I wouldn't go in there without talking to Underhill first. Even if you have, I still wouldn't go in. <laughs> uh, fortunately, I have clearance. Excuse me, are you lost? <laughs> I love that accent. Uh, hmm. Apparently so, maybe. Here we go. Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? I'm your boss, bitch. She really doesn't know who she's talking to. <laughs> right. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? <laughs> the situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? No oh, bollocks. Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? <laughs> I thought this could spell doom. It could. <laughs> Speaking of doom. Whoever you are. <laughs> the mold is 
spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Oh, so maybe it does do okay. area of effect damage so over what time. what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need here. Oh. You'll find them throughout the threshold. Ah, shit. I wish I would have gotten here first, or earlier. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. <laughs> Uh, what was near for? Fresh corpses, toilets, television, staircases, the pit? I'm not sure I want to know what that means. Okay. Have you worked at the FBC very long? Not long enough to understand their inane methodology. They wanted <laughs> to solve the mold, but how is one to solve anything when the basic molecular structure of this fungus is an utter enigma? Oh. Sorry, are you asking me? <laughs> it's rhetorical. The Bureau wants That's to what control, I thought. not comprehend. But to answer your question, I'm a seasoned threshold researcher that's been brought in on a provisional basis to resolve this matter. That's all you had to say. Right. What have you learned about the mold? Firstly, the term mold is a gross oversimplification used only to ease communication. That said, the mold itself appears to be the product of complex microorganisms. They spin the mold, building structures like minuscule cities, swiftly colonizing our dimension, and the speed of these tiny engineers relative to their size is simply staggering. So it grows fast. If you're not going to listen, then why did you ask? <laughs> I knew she was going to have a retort for that. <laughs> so it grows fast? So the mold is coming in from... where? We don't have a name for the threshold dimension. The origin point has been identified, but the density of the fungus makes it impossible to enter. Even if we could, I speculate that we would only find a reality entirely subsumed by the fungus. Total decomposition! Hmm. It's weird how excited she is, right? What isn't weird in this freaking <laughs> building? I mean, really. Let's be realistic. What do you know about the hiss? How could I know anything about an entity I've only just learned of? This is exactly the Bureau's problem. My work is always interrupted by these, these superfluous matters. Calm down. Right? Just keep your HRA on and I'm sure you'll be fine. This crude thing. I thought it was Darling's idea of a practical joke. Not quite. Just keep your head down while I handle the hiss. Right. Okay. I need to get going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. So apparently they look like that. Interesting. Okay, so there's whole tons of stuff around here. Threshold utility counter essay. Summary, Dr. Darling, ugh, Dr. Darling's recently penned essay titled Blank contains some glaring omissions that I feel I must shine a light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that the quarry threshold is beneficial to the Bureau while the mold is actively hostile, to use his words. We cannot determine the worth of these dimensions on their life forms during using bureaucratic definitions. Secondly, the mold is much more beneficial than some rock if the blank creating the mold uh oh. Were reconfigured in their purpose, the structures they could build would rival the greatest skyscrapers. The mold's resistance to various strains of disease we've attempted to introduce could be derived into blank. Yes, admittedly, this application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall. But I pause to wonder when the Bureau lost its eagerness for a challenge. Refer to file blah 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 for full. Report. Let's open all of the doors. Pick up all of the things. Underhill, checking in. Hello, Rhea. How's it going down there? Enjoying the mold so far? 
settling back into life at the old FBC. I just wanted to ask how your coffee with Eliz- with uh, with Emily went. She's a star on the rise, incredibly bright, extremely intuitive. But I want to hear what you thought of her. I think you two could be very good on a project together. Could learn a lot from each other. Let's get together and chat about it soon. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. I'm sure you can't think of anything besides the mold right now. You always were a woman of focus. I always admired that about you. Talk soon, Casper. Okay. And there's this. Mold threshold. The mold threshold. Let's see. I swear. Okay, yeah. Active threshold mold, mold research summary. So, so you want to know how my mold research is getting on, Casper? Here it is. Microscopic organisms, similar in appearance to blank, construct the architecture of the mold. I do not understand if these blank are the original disseminators of the mold or are bitten by some fungal infection. Uh, I guess I should read, read it in her accent, but I'd probably butcher it. <laughs> the mold is the most prolific and durable organism I've ever seen. Now I'm going into Monty Python. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I theorize there is a mold source located somewhere on, our, somewhere on our side of the threshold, rooted here to accelerate growth in our dimension. I refer to this yet an unknown source as mold one. The mold produces an enticing aroma to encourage human consumption of itself. It propagates in the chest cavity and quickly subsumes the entire body, seizing control of motor functions. Hashtag The Last of Us 2. Uh, this behavior was not observed when I first arrived, which means the mold is adapted to our presence, targeting our biological imperatives as a way to spread. It is a truly ingenious little thing. A full report will be ready soon. Keep your slacks on. Alright. Guessing the only mission thing that's flashing is the one that's in the upper left. Just make sure we don't have anything else to say. Have you collected the samples yet? No, I haven't. So piss off. I need to get going. Try so, not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. So I'll bugger off then, I. Oh, yeah. Oh, she was saying goodbye, Director Faden, as opposed to, hey, Director Faden, I have a question and would like you to answer it. Huh. Uh-oh. Smells so sweet down here. Suddenly I'm really hungry. <laughs> Oops. I wonder how this mold tastes. Uh, I don't think we should be tasting it. This one. Uh. Well, okay. Um... Well, I guess we're down here now. Whoa! Hmm. <laughs> Pink Flamingo Supplement. Background. Agents tr uh, noticed a transient commonly found outside the entrance of the Bureau headquarters would carry the item and loudly claim to be responsible for the lack of inclement weather. The frequency of these claims attracted the personal interest of Dr. Darling. In interviews disguised as casual conversations, the transient reported that the item, quote, gives me clouds when it's hot and sun when it's not. Uh, end quote. An event of note occurred during a heavy downpour when the vagrant was witnessed performing a possible ritual with the item. See file blah bitty blah for detailed observation. Dr. Darling reported a wait of blank seconds before the rain stopped. The vagrant was seized the next day. After blank, he was found to possess no blank and was released. The item remains in Bureau custody under suspicion of altered status, though this still has not been proven. All known variations of identical Identification formulas have failed to elicit a response from the item. Uh, thank you. Yeah, we're like off the grid right now, aren't we? Literally. Literally. Uh, wait a second. Oh, okay. Huh, I guess it's just... Some weird ass sounds and shit going on over here. Oh, that's where I just came from. That's where I fell down. Okay. Right. Uh. Oh, I see something. I hear something. Oh. 
Oop. They're like level six? I don't... Hmm. I'm guessing this is the pit she was referring to. Um... Oh! I gotcha. This furniture to throw your way, you jerks. Oh my god, just fuck. Was did I go did I go full to uh, that is some bullshit. I get it? No. Jesus, you guys. That's some bullshit. Boom. Are guys anywhere else? No. You know what? Looks like there's some... No. I guess I can't grab this quite yet. That's not bad. That rate of fire increase is way too much, though. Uh, okay, so the question now becomes... What's waiting for me down below? Right below. What if anything... Hmm. What do I... Oh! Oh! <gasps> wow. One shot. Well, I mean, I was down a ways, but... Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking this has got to be the bit she was talking about. Yikes. It's good we're, uh... Pushing through the mold, though. I should have... I probably should have stopped before I went down, but I was hoping to get this mold stuff done so that we could jump straight into the boss fight on Monday, since I think this is the last uh, control video before the Valentine's Day, Doom Weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 14, 15, 16. Uh, but I may not be able to do it. Eesh. Looks like we're about a half hour right now. Uh, but I don't mind going a little long. Don't mind going a little long. <laughs> Come on now. What? Yeah, and I... St oh, well, that, yeah, I... I may have... Uh, I think I cut that audio and uh, video, but uh, I finally realized the grenade warning indicator... Uh, that they're talking about, I have seen. I keep thinking that they're talking about a rocket-propelled grenade warning indicator also. And those, I do not get any warning. I just see... I mean, I, I get the sound and the visual, but... Jesus, those things could, like, <laughs> do, like, S-curves and all sorts of non <laughs> nonsense. I mean, to be fair, you know, we're dealing with non-physical stuff. Oh, there's no way, really? Okay. I think on that note, I am going to... I think I'm going to call it here, guys, as you guys probably already know before I do. I might just go through and do these uh, 
uh, collect these things and just kind of do a little grinding and farming of materials, including source stuff, uh, whilst we're doing it. Ooh, let's get some of those. Come get some of that. Uh, let's see what we get. Shatter recoil efficiency. Okay, that could be good. Charge blast boost. Mm, that could be fun. Okay, so uh, just to kind of show you how I do this. Ooh, see? Uh, enemies in the containment sector. So, I mean, that's actually easy enough. There's an easy four. And then for these, what I do is, yeah, it's like, hell no, I ain't rank one there yet. Prime personal mod. Although, you know, I only have a rank one damage mod. And the mods are, uh, the, the rank is basically just how good they are. It has nothing to do with what they are. Uh, service weapon in charge mode. Well, I mean, I'll be doing that anyway. So, so yeah. So we got three more of the rank fours. Let's see. Just kind of catch you up again. Let's do this. Got the assets. Uh, da, da, da. So this is C speed. Oh, okay. So yeah, disintegrate that. Or whatever. 4133 is gone. And then for this. Oh, yeah, we need to get rid of some stuff. So these are dupes. Ooh, uh, blast radius. Ooh, plus 65%. And obviously, a new. Uh, shatter projectile spread. That might actually better be better than what I have. Uh, this is spin only, and obviously I'm not going to stack these, so. Yeah, that plus 40%. Way too much. So we got damage against any enemy armor. See, I only have like two rank one damage boosts. Now see, this is pointless because it does so little damage as opposed to just tossing a, you know, a staircase at them or whatever. Okay, so that's much nicer. 83, but still not going to probably use it. I'll keep one around, just on general principle. Reload speed. Sure. Hold on to that one too, I guess. Yeah, so uh, this was... Let's do that. Where was the exclusive to... Charge. Wait, what? Did, I swear I saw. A, why is this? Why can I not? Oh, I'm on spin. <laughs> okay. Whoops. I am an idiot. You guys are like yelling at the screen. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, charge. Here we go. Reload speed. I swear that's what I freaking clicked on. Whatever. Alright, uh, yes. Blast radius. Hells yes. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Actually, before we go, let's just see. Let's just see how nice this is. Oh, <laughs> and again. Doesn't look hugely larger, but, you know, what else? Alright, so, on that note, uh, my timer just hit 39 minutes. It's usually within the first few was when I hit it, so I think we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for swinging by. Don't forget, tune in tomorrow, Valentine's Day. In honor of Valentine's Day, we're going to be slaughtering some demons. It's not love, except love of slaughter, so... Uh, at, that one's going to be uh, dedicated to all my single homies out there. And uh, if you are in a relationship and you do celebrate Valentine's Day, I hope you have a beautiful one. And I will, uh, regardless, hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Until then, have a beautiful day. Take care. Bye-bye.